Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the min stack problem. Design a stack that supports push, pop, top, and retrieving the minimum element in constant time. Push x, push element x onto stack. Pop, remove the element on top of the stack. Top, get the top element. Get min, retrieve the minimum element in the stack. So they give you an example here. First, you instantiate an instance of the min stack call the min stack, then you push negative 2, push 0, push negative 3. So as you know, the stack has the LIFO property, last in, first out. So when you get the min here in constant time, the minimum element that you have seen so far is minus 3. Then when you pop because of the LIFO property, you pop and the last element in was the first element out. So the negative 3 is gone. So when you top, when you do top, you get 0. And when you get the min, the min is negative 2. So the key here is that we need to find the minimum element in constant time. So the naive approach or the brute force approach is to find the minimum element in big O of n time. For that, you will have to iterate through all the elements and find the minimum every time. But here we have to find the minimum in constant time. So as you know, in the stack, we have the push takes constant time, the pop takes constant time, and the top also takes constant time. And in order to get the minimum in constant time, we can also use a stack data structure. We can take advantage of the LIFO property of the stack itself. So what we can do is that we can use two stacks. And we have one stack, S1, which is the primary stack. That stack will contain all the elements that you push. And we can use another stack, S2, and that's going to be the secondary stack. And S2 will contain all the minimum elements. So you will have at the top of S2 the most recent minimum element that you have seen so far. And this is a good solution because by keeping those two stacks separate, for instance, you can actually retrieve the minimum element in constant time and you can also save space because if you have um, for instance a special case where you have many elements um, that are different and then you just want to keep track of the minimum having another stack to do that is going to save you a lot of space because there are some solutions out there where you always have to push the element that you have seen in every node for example, but that solution is not the best when it comes to space. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to have private stack of integer. I'm going to have these two references, S1 for the primary stack and S2 for the min stack. So S2 will contain all the minimum elements that I have seen so far. Then because these are references, I want to initialize them here. So S1 gets the value of new stack and S2 gets the value of new stack. So here, this is the push method. So every time I just want to push to the primary stack. S1 the push x. So I push the element to the primary stack. Every element that I push goes to S1. And then I have to check if this element x is a minimum element. So if S2 that is empty, if there's nothing in the secondary stack, then this is the minimum element that I have seen so far because there's nothing else. So I have to push x as the minimum element that I have seen so far, the most recent minimum element. Or if x is less than or equal to s2 that pick so for instance if this element x that i'm pushing now is less than or equal to the most recent minimum element then i also have to put it in s2 because this is a new minimum element or it is the same as the previous minimum element so i have to keep track of those two and then if that if, if any of these conditions is true then i have to push it to s2 s2 that push x to keep track of the most recent minimum element 
then when I'm popping here, I will get the element, for instance, that I need to pop. So I will say integer x gets the value of s1.pop. So now the element is not in the primary stack anymore, but I have it in a local variable because I want to compare this element with the top of the s2 stack because I want to check if this element is the most recent element that I have seen that is the minimum. So I will see if x equals equals s2 that pick that means that this element that I popped is actually the minimum element that I have seen so far or the most recent minimum element that I have seen so I also have to pop it from from s2 to keep the two stacks synchronized so that they are um, actually working the way they're supposed to be working so s2 that pop now, when I want to return the top of the stack, I just have to say return s1.pick. I return the top of the stack. That means that I just have to pick at the top of the stack and return that element. And in this case, I'm not going to check if the stack is empty because this will throw an exception anyway. But in the interview, you can actually explain that to the interviewer. and if you want you can also handle that case explicitly and here you want to find the minimum element and you can do that in constant time because the minimum element is the top of the secondary stack so you you just return s2 that pick okay so as you can see get min takes constant time top gets con uh, takes constant time pop takes constant time and push also takes constant time so I'm gonna run the code it seems to be working fine I'm gonna submit a solution alright this is working perfectly um, so if you like this video please press the like button don't forget to subscribe and see you next time